McDonald's may not sell their burgers for five cents anymore, but their classic value meal, which included a main sandwich or burger, a side like fries and a drink, usually costs under five bucks. But according to NBC News, at McDonald's and other chains which offer these deals, they're being removed from menus and being replaced with new combo meals that range from $10 to $30, along with new menu items with higher prices that the chain say will expand their customer base with customers who are looking for higher quality options. Wendy's has added the made-to-crave selection, including items like the bourbon bacon cheeseburger and pretzel bacon pub chicken, which range in price from $5 to $7. At KFC, they stopped marketing the $5 Phillips, according to NBC News, and is now focused on $30 family meals instead. McDonald's no longer has a dollar menu. It's now the dollar, $2, and $3 menu. A restaurateur in Buffalo, New York, told Business Insider that the price of chicken wings from his supplier have gone up a whopping 99% because of labor shortages on chicken farms. Add to that the price of frying oil, that's on the rise, making chicken wings increasingly more costly to make. And you know what that means? More higher prices. The Food and Agriculture Organization issued its latest food price index, showing that on a year-to-year basis, food prices were up 39.7% in May. As restaurants open up, many of us may experience sticker shock. And as much as we want to get out, we might just not be able to afford it no matter where we go, fast food, quick serve, or a fancy white tablecloth restaurant. 